morning guys so I thought today I'm gonna vlog because even though I'm not doing anything uh, particularly interesting but you know I might vlog my random day in a life I woke up and I was catching up on some YouTube videos so um, yeah I have to go have my breakfast and my mom baked bread in the morning so she said bread is fresh in the like baking machine so i'm very excited for that i'm gonna have a delicious breakfast this is the nail polish i'm planning to apply marie antoinette from l'oreal what? What? are you hungry baby <laughs> as i said i used this um, Marie Antoinette nail polish from L'Oreal and I really like it. It gives that gel nail look and as you can see my nails are a bit shorter. I cut them and filed them yesterday because they were getting a little bit too long. I love long nails but um, some of them are broken like this pinky one and this uh, ring finger nails so I thought they will catch up a little bit faster with the rest of the nails. And this color makes it look like I have gel nails or gel manicure and I feel like it looks better on really short nails, like this one. It just looks really nice and cute. Um, because it's a pretty sheer nail polish, so you can see the tips through it. So that's why I think it looks better on really short nails. But I love, I'm not a fan of pink, but this is the color. The pink color that gets my approval, one of the you know, few pinks that I really like. I think it's pretty chilly outside. I might need to wear a leather jacket and a scarf already. Summer went away so quickly, it's so sad. Sold two items on my Depop account. The link is down below. So this is going to US and this is going to US as well. This is my Yves Saint Laurent um, art ring and uh, I thought it was gonna be harder to sell this one because it's, uh, you know, a pricey item. But a girl from New York bought it from me yesterday. So I have to send those out. Check out my wrapping abilities, guys. <laughs> well, I don't know. It looks really strange. I wrapped it in a bubble wrapper and then added some pink stuff. Everything is really pink today, which is very unusual for me, but yeah. La Via Rose. Why do I look like a 40 years old? I don't know, probably always do. I'm wearing my uh, new H&M trousers. I showed you guys in a haul video that have this silky um, stripe on the side. And my H&M bag, my Massimo Dutti jumper, which I talked about. Uh, Daniel Wellington watch. And for jewelry, I'm just wearing my Astrid and Me ring. And then um, I'm wearing these Rococo New York uh, earrings from Etsy. Yeah, that's my outfit, wearing Elisable Parfum, my usual perfume. And uh, I think I might add a scarf or a leather jacket on because it's 17 degrees, so it's not very warm today. So I just have on my leopard print uh, scarf from Primark. got it maybe four years ago or so. And my Zara leather jacket. And in this bag I'm carrying my you know, packages for the post office. So yeah, that's my entire look today. Thank God it's sunny and Lenny Kravitz. Ah! I was checking uh, tickets to his concert in October. I think I'm gonna go there. Gina and Teresa just sent out your packages. They should arrive in 10 days. Hopefully that's what I was told, but you never know. And hopefully they will arrive safe. I, I'm always very anxious about packages getting lost or getting ruined and stuff. So, so far, uh, I think everyone received the package that I've sent out, so yeah, fingers crossed, they arrive at you safe and sound. And by the way, you may notice I'm sporting my new um, Prada sunglasses. Yes, I caved in and got them for myself as a little present because I've been talking about them non-stop and you guys, if you watch my vlogs, vlogs from Paris, you'll know that I've been really dreaming about them and regretted not buying them in Paris when they were 30% off. So I purchased them online and I cannot get over them. They're just gorgeous right up my street and they do match my scarf. And there's such a difference between the usual like cheap plastic sunglasses that I wear in, um, you know, higher end quality sunglasses. They just feel so heavy, sturdy and very comfortable on the face and just, you know, they don't hurt your eyes. So I'm extremely happy with those. and. Uh, Oh, it's getting really hot um, in the car. You should open the window. Uh. Oh. 
What's this song? I should shazam it. You guys always ask me what song is playing in your car. I usually listen to radio, so you can use Shazam to find out. So I called Ivan and I asked her whether she would like to grab some roasted hazelnut latte at Max Coffee. So we're meeting in about 15 minutes. So I'm at Max waiting for Diva and this thing always makes me think of Alex from her beauty blog. She showed this in her grocery haul. Alex, if you're watching this, let me know if they were tasty or not because I'm very curious in this. They always make me think of you. This is organic shop, Biotoka. Michael Kors Salmanoka. That's my roasted his on the side. Here's that. We're in Sicily with Daima. Look at this color. Looks like a polar bear color. That's so cute. And this jumper tarts. This is the color. Daima said it's granny like. <laughs> it's so like snuggly and warm. So cute. Oh my god, I really like it. But it's like 50 euros, way too pricey for what it is. So Benetton has a new season of their classic wool jumpers. Extra fine merino wool. And look at this bag. This is a knockoff of um, Michael Kors Selma. And it has faux sapiano leather. It's not real leather. But it looks so good. I was thinking of getting Michael Kors suit on tote in this exact color. But this one is just so similar. Yeah, it's great. If you want a Salma, it's a really, really good dupe. Looks pretty amazing. The sun is out. Yay! I'm still having my coffee. I'm such a slow coffee drinker. It's crazy. So we had coffee with Daiva. And uh, we went to a drugstore to get her some moisturizer and some random bits. So she left me already and now I'm going to the grocery shop. I found these really cool Lorenzo rainbows. I'm gonna try them. Nicest rain boots ever. Such badass shoes. My boyfriend would hit me. Oh my god, look at that silver lining. So how do you come to be stuck with a bummer like me? Gorgeous. So I'm back home as you can tell and I'm gonna show you my groceries. Tonight I really want to make some guacamole for myself and uh, I, I couldn't remember what ingredients you need for it so I tried to remember but I'm not sure I got everything. So I got a green jalapeno pepper and uh, I think you need red ones but well it doesn't really matter. A red onion or purple. <laughs> um, I got two limes. I got two avocados, they were on offer, well everything was on offer actually, limes, peppers, um, avocados, they're really nice big and cream kind of soft avocados. And then I got these chips to have with uh, my guacamole, I know it's like guacamole is pretty healthy and then I'm gonna eat them with chips but I think it's really nice, such a nice snack. I got these ones, they're countryside taglerini. Um, so yeah, uh, because I love my pasta and these are just like little uh, nests. I'm gonna try and find the, the recipe that Melanie Murphy left in the info bar in one of her vlogs. I just don't remember which vlog it was so I'll have to do some browsing. Um, and yeah, it also makes me think of Esti, if you guys watch her from uh, Essay Button, her guacamole song, it's hilarious. So yeah, uh, I think it will be the first time I'll try making it, uh, but I love guacamole. I had like pre-made one. I couldn't find Melanie's vlog. I checked all of her food related vlogs. I just went online, I typed into Google search guacamole recipe and I found simply recipes, perfect guacamole. I don't know what happened to my camera, but it broke. I cannot record with it anymore. Like it says error, error. And yeah, I'm really pissed off that something happened to it. So here's my pasta. I just added some pesto and some cheese and yeah, that's gonna be my dinner. Then I'm gonna um, make myself guacamole. Let's try these chips. 
Mmm. They're really good. A really good flavor. I'm so hungry, I think I'm gonna eat the whole bowl now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna record it with a shitty iPhone camera. So I cut one avocado. Um, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to cut it in case you don't know. Um, I'm sure you all do. So you just cut your avocado like that all around. And then you take it and you twist it and it separates nicely. And then you have to scoop it out in a mixing bowl. Oh, you can tell it's really nice, ripe and creamy. And then you have to smash it with a fork. As the recipe suggests, you shouldn't um, overdo it. Uh, it has to be a little bit chunky. Gonna add a little bit of salt. Then you have to add some lime or lemon juice so that it doesn't change its color. I'm gonna chop my onion now. Okay, now we have to add some black pepper. Then you have to take half a ripe tomato and you have to take the seeds out and cut it in tiny little pieces. I'm gonna take half of my yellow penna pepper because I believe it's gonna be really hot and it's recommended that you add half. Try it and then if it's not hot enough for you, you can add a little bit more. Let me try it out. Mmm, really, really delicious. My camera seems to be really broke. I have to fix it because me without camera. Now I'm gonna have my guacamole with some chips and I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube videos. I'm watching Sammy's from the Beauty Crush uh, haul video. So I will see you guys in my next video if I get my camera fixed. And yeah, by the way, don't forget to check Blogometro's channel, the blogger competition. So yeah, have a good day or night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.